Hey, me and Matt here. Um, so we're getting close to WrestleMania, and it's gonna be a hell of a, a hell of a show. I can't wait to see if this WrestleMania is gonna be any better than last year. Um, a lot of people said last year was terrible. I tend to disagree because, you know, if you think that was terrible, then go back and watch WrestleMania 27. Just saying, I thought it was a terrible uh, WrestleMania that should have never happened. Um, but last year could have been a lot better, but there you go. It wasn't bad and it wasn't great. Um, so Elimination Chamber is tomorrow night. And it should be cool. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Um, since they've unified the titles, the heavyweight and the WWE title, there's only one uh, Elimination Chamber match, which is kind of silly. Which is kind of silly because it's called Elimination Chamber and you only have one Elimination Chamber match. See, if you're going to start doing that, then you might as well fucking take the uh, stipulation pay-per-views and chuck them and maybe put the Elimination Chamber back where it belongs, which was when it debuted at Survivor Series. Like, let's hope this is the last Elimination Chamber match uh, pay-per-view thingy. Something's going on here. Okay, here we go. So, it's going to start off. We got. Well, I'll start off with Batista versus Alberto Del Rio. They've gone back and forth. Talking about how the WWE um, want to put those two together. Alberto going back and forth with uh, Twitter accounts. And then they finally touched gloves. They did, I, they, I don't know if I... I can't remember if they had a match or not. But um, they're going to meet at Elimination Chamber. I hope it's at least a decent match. Um... But yeah, you know, that's kind of an interesting uh, thing that'll happen, I guess. I don't know. And we have The Shield versus The Wyatt Family. Wyatt Family and The Shield. Two stables that I really enjoy watching. Um, I don't know why they didn't make this an elimination match. If they couldn't make this an elimination chamber match, I don't know why they couldn't make this a uh, elimination match but uh somebody also said why don't you make it like a war game style thing and have them in two pods and then you know three uh, one will fight the other and then the other one will come out and then and eventually it'll be a, well just like the war games and that was a good idea but who knows what they're gonna do uh come tomorrow um, you have the Rhodes brothers will take on Ryback and Curtis Axel, and that will be the match that apparently starts. I'm reading all these things off of www.com, so this is what I hear. It's going to be the kickoff match. Um, that it should be interesting to see how that goes. It's not for the belts, so I don't know. It's just a throw together match. Uh, they've already wrestled for the belts at one point. Then we have the tag team championship match: the New Age Outlaws versus the Usos. Outlaws being six-time WWE tag team champions of the world. That's how I had to do that. Um, but yeah. You know, I was a bit of a hypocrite because I thought, okay, you know, 
I didn't think The Rock coming back was a good idea. I thought maybe, you know, he, well, yeah, he shouldn't have wrestled for the WWE Championship last year um, in beating Punk. And if that were the case, then they should have made it where CM Punk and The Rock and John Cena would have went at it last year at WrestleMania 29. Unfortunately, things didn't work out like that, and now you have one of the popular characters, or superstars, or whatever you want to call them, and CM Punk leaving your company, and, you know, who's to blame for that? Uh, but anyways, knowing that The Rock was the WWE Champion, I didn't like that very much. I thought it was stupid. Um, at this case, I think the New Age Outlaws coming back and winning the titles, the WWE Take Team titles, is not bad. I, I think they have a little bit more charisma. They're not big, flashy movie stars, so you'll know they're going to be on the show. Um, that, that, that was a huge deal with The Rock being the WWE Champion last year, but... I just think that, and plus, too, I, I'm a bit biased because back then I was a big DX fan. Um, so, yeah, well, there it is, right there. Then we have Titus O'Neil versus Darren Young. Darren Young and Titus O'Neil being the former tag team that they are. This computer is really starting to piss me off. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so Titus O'Neil and uh, Darren Young used to be the primetime players, and now uh, that they're broken up, uh, which I, I wouldn't mind seeing, it looks like they would have a good match. I saw a little bit of SmackDown. I, I taped it, so I'm going to watch the whole fucking thing, but I saw SmackDown a little bit, and from what it looks like, it looks like it's going to be a good match. Um... Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see who wins in the outcome. Uh, then we have Jack Swagger versus the Intercontinental Champion, uh, Big E Langston, or I guess he goes by Langston now. Uh, no, I guess he goes by Big E now. I don't know what happened, why they changed that. It's like <laughs> they don't say Antonio Cesaro. It's a Cesaro. So... Big E will take on Jack Swagger. I'm not a huge fan of Jack Swagger. I don't know if he'll actually win the championship. Um, but, you know, stranger things has happened. I think if Big E won, I think it would be cool. Just to know that he can also be the longest, or a champion for a little longer. To see who else can take him on. I don't really... No, if Jack Swagger being the champion would be a good idea right now. Uh, then we have the Elimination Chamber match. It's going to be John Cena, Randy Orton, Christian, Antonio Cesaro. Um, Sheamus. Uh, I can't remember who else exactly. Uh, they're saying that, uh, I'm probably missing one, but they're saying that it's going to have, they're going to have Brock Lesnar come out and he's going to go on and take out Christian and then they may have uh, Brock Lesnar win the belt so as to have Brock Lesnar versus Batista at WrestleMania 30, that's what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. And I think that's a better idea than to have Randy Orton defeat or to go up against Batiste at WrestleMania 30. I just think that it would be marketing better, and I always thought that it would be cool because Brock went to UFC and Batista went to WEC. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. And... To see those two go and wrestle each other. And that would, to me, be a lot better. But who knows what's going to happen. 
Anyway, I hope this video turns out. And, uh, yeah. Okay, bye.